Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. And I can't believe it's February already. So this month I do have a few planned expenses. I also do have a birthday, which I do plan to spend quite a bit of money for that. So I just wanted to know whether any of you have set up your February budget and how that is looking so far in terms of what you've budgeted for. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Now let's get into my February budget. This is my February budget and actual sheet. So this month I've been paid £2,271.50p. So I get paid on the 24th of every month. So this is the pay that I got paid on the 24th of um, January. Um, this time it's a bit more because I did overtime. Um, this isn't the full overtime amount because half of it does go towards tax and I and student tuition fees. So this is the actual amount. I could have got more if I wasn't paying my end tuition fees, but I'll leave that for another day. And the plan side hustle income I plan to make is I'm under budget for £60. Last month I was able to make £95, £96. So I'm going to budget it for £60 and see how well I'll do. I don't, dividends, I might earn some dividends this month. I do have two monthly dividends. So I'm again, I'm going to budget this for £2 and see how much I actually make. So my planned income for the month total is £2,333.50p. So the amount I'm going to put into my savings, I'm going to put in £1,000 a one pound and 50p i'm going to leave my sinking funds till the end of the budget because i'm not 100 percent how much i want to put into my sinking funds oh do you know what i'll should i put 60 pounds in and um, no, i'm just going to leave that till the end um usually i will do that at the beginning but because i've earned a bit more this month i want to put a bit more into my sinking funds essentially as well and for investments, I'm going to put £250 in, but I'm going to add the, add the dividend, so it'll be £252. So the amount that I'll be putting into my savings investment is £1,253.50p, which I think is a good amount, and I'll do the sinking funds at the end. Scroll down for a bit. I always pay £100 toward the rent slash mortgage. My mobile phone bill is going to be £2. Yeah, £2 because I used the Airtime Reward app. And because last month I only paid £6, I still got £4 left in credit. So it's only going to cost me £2 this month, which is a good amount. And for household goods, I'm going to put in £40. This is because... I might have to buy a toaster. Our toaster is on its last legs and essentially um, I need the money for the toaster as well. For the groceries, I'm going to budget for £190. So it's £10 less compared to last month, but I do think I'll be able to stay within budget and hopefully spend less as well. I'm going to try and curb my snack runs. For dining out, I'm just still going to put £100 in. Just in case I do go out to London, I do want to treat my younger cousin to a meal as well, so for a birthday, so I think £100 should be good enough. And for takeaways, I'm going to put in £25. £5 less than last month, but I really want to reduce my takeaway spending, especially during the weekdays. I'm not too bothered about the weekends, but during the weekends, not the weekends, during the weekdays, I don't want to be spending more money on takeaways. For closings, I'm going to put in £40 this month. I don't really see myself spending this money, but if I do, I've got the budget for it. For personal care, I'm going to spend £100. There's a few bits that I need to get for myself, and I also need to get my brother a electric toothbrush. This is my younger brother, and I'm going to use the money from my personal care category to purchase that for him as well. I don't have any treatments planned. I do want to get my nails done. I just want a simple manicure done. So I'm actually going to just budget it for about £30. I haven't been to the nail salon for a long, long time. And I do want to get my nails done 
Uh, I don't really like wearing fake nails or I just find it a bit irritating at times. And I only do it for the video, so I do want to get my like nails done. I can just use nail varnish and just paint my nails. I just prefer doing that <laughs> instead. So I'll budget that thirty pound in for a manicure, and I'll see what happens. For insurance, it's not due for February. Petrol, I'm going to put in eighty pounds. I don't really see myself spending the full eighty. Maybe about sixty, seventy pounds, but we'll see. MOT and tax isn't due nothing is wrong with my car i've got everything that i need public transport i'm gonna budget this for 40 pounds it is a lot but i don't know how often i'll be going into london um for february i might go in twice but i'm not 100 percent. and because the ticket prices have gone up i do need to put a bit more money into it for parking i'm just going to do the usual five and the total for the transport category is 125 so yeah quite a bit compared to last month but isn't it quite a bit compared to last month because I, i'm pretty sure i put 100 pounds in there i think it's the same amount it's i think yeah it's the same amount instead of putting 100 pound petrol i'm rolling that essentially 20 pounds into the public transport fund which is fine for subscriptions i'm gonna pay five pounds towards that i don't really see myself going to the cinema this month yeah i just don't really see that happening for prescriptions i don't need anything vitamins again i don't i know i was meant to get something last month but it can wait i just i'm i'm not in a rush to buy it so that's that i'm gonna put in a 40 pound in for charity and for gifts, I'm going to put in £130. And for unexpected purchases, I'm going to put in £20. So you can see the total amount for each category. So I've got £142 for housing, £315 for food, £170 for personal care, £125 for transportation, £5 for entertainment, healthcare is getting zero, loans is getting zero, and 190 is going into my other category. Now if I scroll to the top, I'm just going to see how much money I've got left over. I've got £133 left over, which is a good amount. Um, I'm going to put £133 into my sinking funds. And that's budget to do it. So my monthly expense, it is higher. I believe so. It's £947. I'm hoping that I don't spend this much, but we'll see. I'm going to try and really under budget this month, especially because I've got a birthday coming up and I do want to treat my younger cousin to a few nice, nice bits and bobs. So that's why it's 130 Usually I try and not spend over that amount, but we'll see. Um, unexpected purchases i don't plan to have any impulse purchases this month i mean if i do i would be quite disappointed in myself but i think this should be all right and hopefully i should manage to come under budget we'll see we'll see what happens um february is a short month so i hope that i don't spend as much as i budget to expect plan to spend essentially but we'll see but yeah this is my budget for february let's get into the cash stuffing i've taken 100 not 100 840 pounds out of the cash machine so let's just count this up just to make sure it's accurate 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 80 300 20 40 60 80 500 is it 500 or is it 400? <laughs> Let's count again. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. 20, 40, 60, 80, 700. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 
800, 810, 820, 830, 835, 840. So that's all the money that I'll be stuffing my cash envelopes with today. Let me just sort this out. I really need to get some sort of divider, like a plastic divider. Just need to find out where to get one from, essentially. Let's put the two fibers there. And the 10 pound notes there. Let me just put this up a bit. Hopefully you can see that more properly. Um, let's get stuffing my cash envelopes, essentially. For household goods, I'm pretty sure I need about £40. So let's put this in here. And I'm going to use two £20 notes. One £20 notes, two £20 notes, and that's £40. For groceries, I need £190. So I'm going to pick up quite a few £20 notes. That's 20 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, and I'm going to take up one 10 pound note, so that's 190 pounds there. For dining out, I need 100, so I'm going to use all 20 pound notes, so that's 20, 40, 60, 80. 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so it's 100. I'm hoping that I've got the right amount of notes that I need. For takeaways, I'm going to put in, it's £25 to put in, I'm going to use two £10 notes and one £25 notes. That's £25. Personal care. Clothing is going to get £40, and so we use two £20 notes, that's £40. So in. <laughs> For personal care, it's £100. So I'm going to use five £20 notes. That's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. For petrol, it's going to be eighty pounds. So I'm going to use ten pound, not ten pound, twenty pound notes. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. For public transport, this was forty pounds. I'm going to use two twenty pound notes. That's forty pounds. Parking, five pounds, last five are there. For events and hobby, nothing planned. And I hope not to spend anything in that section either. I don't plan to. Appointments, prescription, nothing. Vitamins, nothing. For charity, I'm putting two 25 notes, that's 40 pounds. And for other, this is gonna include gifts and my unexpected purchases. I know I do have a wallet in my sinking fund, but that's separate and it's just easier just to have one of these wallets. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to close this wallet, essentially. So this should have 150 pounds, but we'll see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, and 50. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50. It's 150. So that's the right amount for the other. That's including the gifts was 130 plus the unexpected purchases. That's 150, which is right. What am I missing? Treatments. Yes, the manicure. So 10, 20, 30. I'm going to put this in my personal care. Category. I don't have a treatment 
category so I'll just put it with personal care and hopefully I'll remember <laughs> we'll see we'll see but yeah I was getting a bit confused I was like what is this extra money doing on the side and that's everything for my February budget and cash stuffing essentially all done this future me coming back to really look at my budget for February I think I forgot to add some other expenses in um, the, this other section I've got a few bits and bobs to essentially buy but these don't really have a, like a perfect category so I need to just assign £40 to that um, I don't think I'm going to take any cash out for this so I'm just going to leave it in my bank account I'm going to also reduce the um, household goods um, budget I'm going to put that to £20 so I'm going to take out the £20 and just put it in the other category section and I'm just going to leave the £20 in my bank account so you can see I'm um, over budget by £20 I'm going to put £20 less into my sinking funds so this should be, should be £113 yep £113 so this is just the correct budget now um, luckily I am doing this two to three days before um, February is starting so I've have had the ability to make changes to my budget and now I have £967 budget for my expenses for my savings, sinking funds, investing it's £1,366.50p £1, which I think is an alright amount so yeah and this is my final February budget so just give me a quick overview now Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.